Hello traders, FS Picoletta here. Today is Friday, May 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the pound yen, I still think this is very, very, very clear. I think the clarity on the pound yen is on the monthly time frame. I think this is very clearly a wave A. I think this is three waves down for wave B, and I think this is a one, two, three of wave C. I also think that it's very clear that this is a one, two, three, for five of subdivision of wave three of wave C. So I still think that this needs to make a wave four and a wave five just to finish off the wave C, probably ending around the 205 area, maybe a 204. So heading down to the weekly time frame, we had a big push down on the weekly, but so far it has no break of starts or it has no lower high. There's really nothing yet telling us that this wave three is really over, so we do have to be cautious about sorting. There's always a chance that this goes up, maybe even all the way to the 100% Fib extension before we actually get that big wave four that we've been waiting for, which will potentially last maybe four to six months, and then another push up for a wave five, which will also potentially last four to six months. So either way, let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I would definitely look at this move down as possibly being a wave A, and this move up as possibly a wave B. So I am definitely, definitely watching Fib levels, and I'm looking to see if this is actually going to go down to make a wave C before it actually does go back up. But, like I always say, especially when you're talking about the yen pairs, this is about a four-year uptrend, and there may be a, even a better possibility that this does just keep on making those higher highs and those higher lows. So taking it down to the four hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last move down. Like I said, I am definitely watching these Fib levels. If price does go up to a Fib level, make a nice clear break and hold a below structure, then I would know at that point that it probably is a way B and I would know that I need to stop looking for longs, either exit my longs and go sort for the continuation of the downtrend. I do see that this easily could be an A, a B, and a C. But like I was explaining, I would have to see something pretty convincing because it may just bounce from these Fib levels, continue to make higher highs, higher lows, and just keep on trending up. So keeping all that in mind, taking it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, like I said, I until I see evidence on like the four hour time frame with that double top, three, four, five, say, break a structure, I definitely would continue to look for longs. It could easily just bounce from these fib levels, not break structure, and just keep on making higher highs, higher lows. Which is why for me, until I actually see evidence on like the four hour time frame that this trend is over or this move up is over, I am definitely gonna continue to hold longs and continue to look for more longs for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to all the daily live trading sessions. And it gives you access to all my swing trade setups that I share with the group at the time of entry by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, happy trading and good luck to everyone.